What's up, everyone? It's Jason again. In this series, I'm calling my Quick Hit Tech Tips, as I will be quickly going through individual Siemens function blocks. I'll be talking about their inputs, outputs, and how to use them. I hope you enjoy. Today, we're going to be talking about two different function blocks, MC Power and MC Reset. These are ISO-defined function blocks meaning that other manufacturers have to use the same names and provide the same functionality. So, you may actually be a little more familiar than you realize with these functions. Let's start off by talking about MC Power. Again, these blocks are part of an active program running on a real piece of equipment. So everything that you see here actually runs as it's supposed to. MC Power is a way for enabling an axis and making it ready to execute other functions. If you do not have MC Power enabled, then the drive will not execute any functions. On a Siemens S120 or a G120, you will know that the drive is enabled because you will hear the cooling fan turn on. So let's take a look at the actual function blocks, inputs, and outputs. So we see here that as with every MC block, you'll have an axis input. This is simply the technology object and you can drag from the project tree over onto the axis and drop it and it will populate the data block into the block. The second input that we need is the enable. This needs to be maintained on anytime that you want the drive to be on. Now, these other inputs, you can look up their functionality in the help files by clicking on the block and pressing F1. Now, moving on to the outputs, these have four outputs that are common to almost every MC block. You have a status, a busy, an error, and an error ID. When MC power is running, the status will be true. This will signify that the axis is enabled and it should, as we mentioned before, have the cooling fan running and be ready to go. If there is ever a time where the axis either cannot be enabled or the drive is in a false state, you will have the error be true and you will have an error ID that will tell you more about this. Again, clicking on the block and pressing F1 will link you to all of these things. For more information about the error ID, click error ID and you have all the different functions here. A word of advice, these are actually pretty descriptive. So take note of these while troubleshooting. Now that's pretty simple. The second block we are looking at is MC reset. Think of MC reset as a fault reset, but more. Again, we have the common axis input, which is linked just the same as before. We also have the execute and a restart parameter. The execute executes the fault reset on the axis. If this execute is executed with restart being zero, it will do a fault reset on the drive and all the drive object associated parameters. That means if there's a fault on your drive, you can execute an MC reset and the technology object will reset that fault. Doing the same execution with the restart command high will reset the technology object to its starting values. Sometimes you will go through and tune a technology object and you might not like the results and you might not know what you've done. Performing an MC reset with the restart input as one will reset the technology object to its start values. On to the outputs. We have a done, a busy, a command aborted, error, and error ID. So we have a little bit different outputs on this block versus the MC power. A big difference between the done and status bit is that the done bit is only true for one cycle after the function completes its operation. So that means if you were waiting for this block to complete, you might miss this done bit going high if you were not able to check fast enough. I have found that using the busy signal is a better method of detecting whether or not this function is busy. The busy bit will 
only be active while the function is running. So that means if you do a not busy and wait until after you have executed the function to begin checking, once it is not busy, you know that the reset has been completed. The only other output that we haven't seen before is this command aborted. And we'll talk about that in a different video, but just know that if this function is ever interrupted, this command aborted will be true. So that's it for this video. I hope that you found it useful. If this video was helpful, please like the video and subscribe for more. And I hope to see you around.